Today we will solve a very simple binary tree problem. It's lead code 226 and it's called invert binary tree. So here you are given a binary tree and uh, you have to invert it. That is you can assume a mirror, you keep a mirror here and then whatever is the left becomes right and right becomes left. So let's uh, see an example. So think of it that there is a mirror here. So what will happen? We will have five here and 6 is right so 6 will become left then 3 will become right and on 3 also 2 is left so it's far from the mirror if you see in the mirror the farther objects that will be farther in this side also so 2 will come here and 4 will come here so you see that whatever is in the left subtree has come in the right subtree and that is true for all the nodes of the tree as well so if you look at just this subtree then it's inverted as well so how we can do that so let's see it's it's a simple problem of recursion so let's call it it for invert tree and root so what you will do first you need to do that uh, call this same function on left subtree since you see that all the subtrees are inverted as well so we will call uh, root dot right equal to it root dot left. So whatever is the left, left is this one root dot left. Just call it on that and it will return a node, tree node or it will return the new node, new root. So whatever is the uh, inverted form of this subtree make this its right subtree so root is here so it will invert it and make it uh, this 3 4 2 so we will make it right of this so we get this and we need to store left somewhere so temp equal to root left so store the left in somewhere and then in fact store the right since we are updating the right root not right so we have saved the earlier right and whatever is the inverted subtree of left subtree we make that right so this is the state now and then root dot left equal to it of whatever value we had saved here right and then return root so how this will work and uh, add a nil check here if root is null then return root so let's run the code through an example the root is here so we will call invert tree on 5 so it will save the right it will do a null check it will not return since it's not null it will store right equal to 6 then 5 dot right equal to it of 3 this node and again it will perform this null check and store right equal to 4 and uh, 3 dot right equal to it of 2 and what is the invert inversion of this single node 2 it's 2 itself so it it's now becomes 3 dot right is 2 so let's draw it here 3 its right is 2 then this line terminates and then we call 3 dot left equal to it of this right which we have saved the earlier right which is 4 and what is the inversion of this single node 4 itself so 3 dot left is 4 now then this call also returns so this uh, returns the new root which is 3 so this line returns and 5 dot right is this node so 5 dot right becomes this and then after this thing returns we will write 5 dot left equal to it of whatever right we had saved which is 6 and what is the inversion of this 6 6 itself so it becomes 6 so 5 dot left is 6 
and finally we will return root so this new root is return and make sure that this is the inverted form of this so that's how this simple recursion works so let's write th this same code in uh, C++, Java and Python so if not root return root else tree node star write equal to root write root uh, write equal to invert tree root left and root left equal to invert tree right and return root so let's see it works so let's submit and the solution is accepted so let's see it takes 0 millisecond and memory also is good so we are right here at the top 100% similarly in terms of uh, looks like KB our 8.4 MB so we are somewhere here this is 9.1 MB so close to this region so we are top in terms of uh, runtime and memory now let's uh, write the same thing in Java and Python that's it and it works so let's submit and the solution is accepted in Java as well now we will do the same thing in Python 3 and it works so let's submit and the solution is accepted in python as well